All right. So I don't just want to be talking about my own race on here. I just don't want to talk about the culture period to make it even because everybody says I go so hard on SPM. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but yeah, y'all say I go so hard on SPM. I think today we look at uh, something that's in the headlines right now and that is taking over media. What's going on with P. Diddy? So that's why I got to long crime for this review. And let's see what's going on with P. Diddy. Let's just give it a little, uh, little run through. I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Something on the level of Epstein, Weinstein, to the power of 10. From members of the royal family to Grammy and Academy Award winners, we're breaking down all the A. By the way, this is brought to you by StreamYard. StreamYard, make your next podcast. You're going to love it. You're just going to love it. Just stop it already. You're going to love it. List celebrities named in court docs against P. Diddy, along with some startling accusations. First of all, that that entire filing was just gasp for it. I'm not seeing a scenario where he can escape liability, criminal liability. He's been known Didn't he get away? as a renowned rapper, producer, and label executive who goes by the names P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, or his legal name, Sean Combs. Whatever name you want to call him, he's no stranger to legal troubles. Just this week, both Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles were raided by Homeland Security. According to former prosecutor Melba Pearson, they're likely looking for some specific evidence. The feds are doing raids at three different homes of P. Diddy, including his homes in California, in Florida, and in New York. And what I think they're looking for are videos. So basically, P. Diddy had a habit, allegedly, based on told to us through the filings by uh, Cassie Ventura. They have all said that P. had a habit of liking to video either him abusing other people or, in, you know, forcing other people to abuse each other for his pleasure and how would record all of that. So I think those are some of the things that the feds are looking for. I think they're looking for other types of evidence that to sick, corroborate bro. the statements that were made by Little Rod, by Cassie Ventura, and the other people have come forward saying that he did abuse them. So they're looking for corroborating evidence and the basically the building blocks to put together what will end up being a massive, massive, massive criminal case. So far, Diddy hasn't been arrested, but he has already faced his fair share of legal issues. Last year, Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, who you probably know as singer Cassie, accused him of sex trafficking and sexual slavery. She alleged that Diddy raped her and beat her so severely that she was bruised. Cassie also alleged Diddy made her have sex with prostitutes and recorded it on video. She also says he forced her to carry a gun. Cassie sued him under New monster. York's Adult a Survivors Act fam. and settled with Diddy outside of court just one day after the suit was filed. Joy Dickerson Neal also filed suit against Diddy under the Adult Survivors Act, accusing him of drugging and sexually assaulting her back in 1991 when she was a college student at Syracuse University. Diddy was slammed with yet another lawsuit last month, this time brought on by music producer Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod. The 73-page lawsuit lays out dozens of allegations against Diddy, including that he forced Lil Rod to hire prostitutes and have sex with them. The court doc also claims Diddy himself assaulted Lil Rod, but that's not the only bombshell allegations revealed in the detailed documents. Lil Rod doesn't shy away from publicly naming other celebrities he says assaulted him. I don't know that Cooper Gooding Jr. is going to escape from that one. Let's start with the allegations against Academy Award winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Lil Rod alleges Diddy was, quote, grooming him to pass him off to his friends. This fear became reality when Mr. Combs introduced Mr. Jones to Cuba Gooding Jr. when they were on Mr. Combs's yacht. There's actually photos of their interaction together too, which are laid out in those court documents. In the first pic, you see Diddy and Cuba talking with Diddy's arms on Cuba's. In the next pic, Cuba has his arm around Lil Rod and is smirking. 
Court docs go on to state, quote, Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. He rejected his advances, and Mr. Gooding Jr. did not stop until Mr. Jones forcibly pushed him away. In the last couple of years, there were allegations against him for sexual assault. So now we had those prior allegations, and now we see him tied to this case as allegedly uh, trying to, you know, uh, assault a little rod, assault others. Back in 2019, Cuba was booked on misdemeanor charges of forcible touching and sexual abuse after he allegedly groped a woman in Times Square. By the next year, three women had come forward, accusing him of non-consensual sexual touching. He eventually reached a deal with prosecutors that required six months of counseling, but no jail time. I, I'm getting the feeling where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Because now we have two different instances where you're accused of the same type of behavior, you know, years apart. I, I think there's something there. And I don't know that Cooper Gooding Jr. is going to escape from that one because he already saw definitely people moving away from him within Hollywood circles and other circles once those first sexual assault allegations came out. So at this point, I don't think he's going to get, get away with it a second time. Is it possible that he could face charges based on these allegations? Yeah, yeah. why ain't, why ain't nobody LeBron? talking about Cooper Gooding Jr., fam? Well. Um, again, we've got the statute of limitations issue to deal with. So depending on the time frame of when this happened is, you know, again, the Adult Survivors Act, which was the vehicle where many of these lawsuits came out, many of these civil law schools suits, excuse me, came out, there, there was a finite amount of time for those suits to be filed. Well, time frame is going to be very, very important. Uh, what witnesses come forward, because again, you know, this this may not be a situation where DNA be, may be at play. This may be more of a situation of, hey, yes, I was there and I re recall, you know, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., you know, putting his hands on little rod or I, re you know, recall certain aspects. So it's going to be a very witness intensive type of case. And the question is, will the witnesses be willing to come forward? Lil Rod's lawsuit also publicly named another celebrity linked to Diddy. Jennifer Lopez. From the, the standpoint of the, the names of the celebrities that were tied to this, the fact that Jennifer Lopez was tied to this back when she was involved in a or party to a shooting at a nightclub when she was dating Diddy and is now alleged to have brought the gun with, with her to the scene and gave it to Diddy and that's how the shooting occurred. Lil Rod's team brings up J-Lo when establishing Diddy's history writing his quote, Rico Enterprise has existed for at least 20 years, dating back to the 1999 nightclub shooting in NYC, when Mr. Combs required his then girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, to transport his illegal firearm into the NYC nightclub. The court docs allege Diddy forced his then artist, Shine, to assume responsibility for the shooting of several individuals. All this happened back on December 27, 1999, when a fight broke out at a nightclub. Diddy, J-Lo, and rapper Shine were all there, and according to former rapper Mark Curry, Diddy paid Shine $1 million to take the fall for the shooting and serve a 10-year prison sentence. Lil Rod's lawsuit now suggests it was J-Lo who brought the gun. The fact that she's named as somebody who was carrying a weapon, could that be incriminating for Jennifer Lopez? It can be, um, but with a, with a huge caveat, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, that shooting did not result in a death. I know that somebody was harmed, but I don't believe anyone was killed. Because of that, you have the statute of limitations to deal with, which is basically a prolonged amount of uh, a certain amount of time mm. that a prosecutor has <clears throat> to be able to bring charges against someone. And it, it varies from state to state. But the one thing is consistent is that there is no statute of limitations on murder. So if P. Diddy had actually killed this person or the person died as a result of their injuries, now J-Lo could be brought into the mix as a co-defendant because of the fact that the person has passed away. But if the person is alive and maybe they had serious injuries or whatever the case may be, statute of limitations would run and it is highly likely at this juncture that statute of limitations have expired 
therefore she does not have any criminal liability. But the reputational damage might be a different story because now she's branding herself as something very different than who she was back then. Back then, she was very much on Jenny from the block. She was, you know, dating a variety of hip hop artists. She was very much in that world. Now she's married to Ben Affleck. She's trying to, you know, portray herself in a different manner. So now her past is going to come back to haunt her. And we don't know what that's going to mean for her future in terms of movie deals, music deals, or anything like that. So I think for her, it might be more reputational damage than criminal liability. Pearson says it's possible Jennifer Lopez could file some sort of defamation suit, but it's not likely. She could, but at the end of the day, when it comes to defamation in those types of cases, truth is an absolute defense. So if he has some sort of receipts to basically prove that, hey, I, I was right there. I saw her the same way in the filings. You saw a number of different screenshots and pictures that he submitted to support the different points that he was making. If he has some pictures to substantiate that she was carrying the gun, it, it, it's going to be very hard for her to say in good conscience in a court of law that, you know, this wasn't true. He's made this up. And now as a result, I've lost, you know, money. I've lost opportunities and things like that. There's going to be too much evidence out there connecting her to this that is going to be very hard for a jury to come back and say, yeah, he's making to all Stay this. out of trouble, kids. That's why but it's the best not thing, to stay out of trouble. that Lil Rod named either. He specifically mentioned... Man, he straight Perry, snitched on everybody. ...in his court documents. It reads in part, quote, Mr. Combs was known for throwing the best parties, affiliation with and or sponsorship of Mr. Combs' sex trafficking... Okay, Lil Rod, you just snitched on everybody, bro. Like, I understand you You were injured. You were hurt. I understand that. Bro, but you threw everybody under the bus. You threw everybody under the bus, fam. Like, did you think that you were going to have an, a career in the music industry now? You think that you're just are 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 you thinking you're gonna win this four or five million dollars, couple million dollars, and that's gonna just do the trick, and everybody's just gonna forget? Oh, well, you didn't just put like thirty people on blast, fam. It's crazy, it's crazy. but but speak out for real. Speak the up. Garnered legitimacy and access to political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry. Why even name Prince Harry? There's no allegations against him or anything, but why bring him up? I think it may have been a move to bring more credibility to the filing and say that, you know, basically he was using, he being Diddy, was using his fame, fortune, and influence to insulate himself. So he was able to legitimize some of the activities he was doing by having these lavish parties bringing all these A-list celebrities, but somewhere in a back room or somewhere in, in another wing, you know, horrible things were happening. So the fact that Prince Harry was there does not necessarily mean he was participating in what was happening. And just because you were at a party doesn't mean you know what's happening in every inch of the house. I mean, if you think about it, if the party is being thrown in a mansion, there are various floors and wings. So it is completely possible that he was there and did not participate. Now, if you had said Prince Andrew, especially as a result of the allegations that came out in connection with the Epstein case, that they were close and that they traveled together. And, you know, there was a person that alleged that he had um, had sexually assaulted her while she was underage. That would be a different story. But Prince Harry and the way that it was mentioned seemed to be very again just sort of trying to bring legitimacy and talk about these were the people that yeah he, man what man shout out prince harry man for being a, a good you know so prince harry has been no a good guy just being a against him but the name association good old boy <laughs> damage to his reputation even so pearson says it's not likely good he day. files any sort of defamation suit it's possible that prince harry may be able to preserve his reputation but again, just in light of everything him and the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, have been through, I, I truly, really hope that, you know, he's able to completely distance himself, maybe make a statement, because again, since he's not necessarily under the 
uh, umbrella of the royal family directly. That So in other words, Buckingham Palace would not be releasing a statement on his behalf. It would be him releasing a statement and saying, yes, I went to X party, but no, I never engaged in any inappropriate behavior or other details that he may see fit to share. Um, so that's going to, share. to be, you know, we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But again, since it was such Shout a out long crime again, y'all go subscribe in the con greater context of this filing, he may be OK. Pearson compares Prince Harry's association with that of President Bill Clinton, who'd been seen with Jeffrey Epstein before his arrest. And there didn't seem to be much said around him actually engaging in activities more that he was present at the parties. So I don't recall seeing a lot of fallout uh, on the part of President Clinton. From Bill Clinton was everywhere, man. Bill Clinton, Oprah, they're in all the shit. They're in all the bad shit. Like everything that they're tied to, bro, there's some shady shit. They all know something. They all know they are all in on it. I, I feel that way. From that association. Speaking of Epstein, Lil Rod's court docs draw a parallel between Diddy's alleged crimes and Jeffrey Epstein's. Epstein died by suicide back in 2019 when he faced numerous charges of sexual. What do y'all think? Do y'all think if Diddy, if they crack down on Diddy hard enough, because he ain't locked up yet. You think whenever he's locked up, he's going to. You think he's going to end it? What do y'all think? I don't think he's in a self-exit. I think Diddy's too much of a coward, but I know that he would be like, fuck, I had this long ass ride and this legacy is just all gone down the drain. For what? For a couple of uh, videos of my, of his wife getting, going to pound town with 30 men. Ridiculous. You got too much money, bro. Sometimes I, I think when they get too much money, they got too much time on their hands. Like, what else can we do? Like, regular sex does not even, like, appeal to them. Oh, excuse me. I, oh, I should block that out. Regular, you know what, does not even appeal to them anymore to where they have to get sicker and sicker and sicker and freakier than the next person. This person's freakier than that person. And and it's just a whole big old mess and nasty and and. They're all in. The, they're all in on it. It seems like that. Like the the richer you are, the more you're gonna be into that weird stuff, and the more level headed you are, the more you're gonna be able to run through this life with a breeze without having to worry about the feds or doing wrong or doing some inappropriate stuff like that. Kids, just get married, bro. Just get married. Whatever happened to that? Finding the person and living the rest of your life with them. assault over the course of multiple years. His longtime companion, Ghislaine Maxwell, was charged and found guilty of sex trafficking in relation to her time with Epstein. She's currently serving out a lengthy prison sentence. Lil Rod compares Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Cahorum, to Ghislaine Maxwell, saying she ordered sex workers and prostitutes for Mr. Combs and ordered and distributed... Maxwell lady, what do you think she's doing right now? You think she's like... Like distributing like some kind of like stuff in jail now or like you think she's all like man telling them like wild stories and all this stuff. I think that's what she's like doing. She she wasn't going to whenever they found her, they found her at this hiding spot that was like this huge ass mansion uh, that Ghislaine Maxwell lady. But like she was part of like the whole thing. Like she was like really one of the masterminds out of the whole Epstein propaganda and this is all alleged. Everything that I'm saying right here is alleged. Everything that I've been saying, even what I do say about SPM, this stuff is alleged. But nah, I really can't say that. That's freaking proof. That man's been convicted. So I'm not even going to speak on that no more. I'm tired of speaking of that. Cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms to Mr. Combs and his celebrity guests who were present on his rented yacht and in his homes in LA, NYC, what? and Miami. Under these cases, when you have these high profile people that have been using people over years, these cases that's Diddy son out of handle. R. Kelly had a handler, you know, uh, Epstein had a handler, Weinstein had, had, had a handler. Everybody has in those 
scenarios of those powerful people, powerful men that are abusing other people, they have someone that does their dirty work. And it's usually not only just one person, it's several people who may have different duties. So again, you know, seeing this this woman being his handler, being the person to get him drugs, being the person to, to uh, procure sex workers for him, being the person to basically be on cleanup duty. I thought that was of, Young Miami. You know, covering up or silencing people that might want to come forward. You know, that that that's not unusual. And she is also going to bear the brunt of criminal liability, just like Jillian Maxwell did and basically had to take the entire brunt of the criminal justice system alone brunt. because of the fact that, you know, um, Epstein committed suicide and was not able to be held accountable. And According to Pearson, Diddy and many of his associates will likely face federal charges, but it's not totally clear when. And what do you think a timetable would look like for all of that? I know that there's a lot of evidence to gather over many years, but is it possible that a federal indictment could be just around the corner? I would hesitate to say just around the corner because with all of the experience I've had with these office approaches cases, they do not move until they have you fully like they have you dead to rights, basically. So they are going to take their time. They're going to collect all the evidence. They're going to speak to as many witnesses as they can. They're going to follow every single trail, every single lead that they can before they go to an indictment. There can be continuances. There can be other things that can delay the case. But once you file that charging document, the clock starts ticking. So that, I, you know, when I was a prosecutor, I always advised my detectives, oh, shoot. anybody that I was training, that you get all the evidence you can up front, and then you file charges. So when is it possible that we would actually see him being arrested or facing any of these indictments? Could it be months down the line? I feel that it would be months down the line. I, I would oh, I got something to show y'all. It was before the end of this year. Um, because again, this is going to be a massive investigation. I hope y'all hear the background. Recently, I don't ever hear that on bloggers. It's always so quiet the, and so uh, HD, bro. Let me hear where, where you're at. Let me hear the underage world around you. To, uh, pause. One of his pause. I should have paused it. My bad. Let me rewind it back for y'all idiots. You fully... Like I love they you. have you dead to rights, basically. So they are going to take their time. They're going to collect all the... Wait, before I go any further, check this out. Whack 100 just got pranked. On <laughs> no jumper. Check this out. Uh, yeah, that comes to right. Quilly. That's crazy. Now, Dr. Hey, that's what's going on right now. What's up, How you doing? What are you doing? All right. What's going on? Devin, come sit down real quick. What's up, brother? Yeah. I'm not your brother. Oh, you don't like me? Hmm? Oh, no, it's not him. You don't like me? I'm just you know, saying. Like him. Who are you? Boy. Oh, you call him boy, boy, bro. You. Can you just sit down on the mic? Sit down, man. Yeah. Where, where is that energy coming from? Huh? Oh, no. I don't know. But you just, you don't, we do that outside. My daughter, right? You're going to get hurt, bro. Playing like that. Chill out. So, what you doing? I just, I, I didn't know that we were going to get off on a oh, oh, right there. Oh, whack no, right? shout out to. Mess with me, you're going to be whack now. Man, shout out to WAC 100, one of the hardest working media outlets right now. Boy, that boy would. A lot of people want to talk about WAC 100, man. WAC 100 helped my channel grow so much just by speaking, just by clipping. So shout out WAC 100. WAC 100, if you see this, man, you one of the ghosts, fam. You, you keep going, fam, for real. 99. But I, but man, I felt disrespected. Like, come on, bro. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a Mexican fam, and I still feel a certain way when people start saying boy and shit. I don't brought him in here, so I go. I didn't, I didn't know. But I know this guy's playing. I don't know it. But what's up? Everything is not down, boy. Wait a minute, bro. You did that shit in front of Wag's daughter, man. You lucky he didn't have um, bro. I was about to say um, <laughs> man. That man got some, some, something, something. Hey, yo, Devin, step outside. I didn't. 
I didn't know this was coming. So what, what are you? I fuck up. Yo, yes. Hey, bro. Yo, bro, I'm going to ask you one time. I don't respect hey, this bro. platform. Hey, chill, my nigga. Hey, chill out, bro. Chill, my nigga. Adam, listen. I think he's just he's just having a, an off day. Yo, who are you, bro? Who are not, bro? Hey, hey bro, that ain't, bro. Oh, chill out. Adam brought this dude in. I don't know who he is. Hold on. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. Okay, what's your issue with me? <laughs> I didn't want to get you started. I'm, I'm a YouTuber, bro. I had to come in here. I want to get him. Bro, this might have been a little too real. We got like 10 angry gang members. No, I had to. I had look, look, I tried to get you to get up. I should have got him. You knocked me off for I tried to get his ass to get up. You knocked me off for No, like super viral. I don't know This is my image, though. This is my image. I don't know you. I'm black, though, too. I'm black. I'm black. Tell my daughter to come back in here. Yo, the stakes were up. I don't care. Hey, that was good, though. That was good. Now, Adam. Don't ever tell me I won't keep a confession. <laughs> no, I appreciate you. No, no, look, I, I so said yeah. G-Face and I'm a fan, John though. Oh, you I'm a fan, Foster. It's too much here. I was it's like, extra oh, here. I don't even know what's here. Hey, I'm look. Bro was behind me right there. Bro was behind me. No, you good. No, you good. 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 Look. You was about to go up. Look, I wanted you to grab you by my throat real quick. Bro, shout out Wack 100. That man. You crazy, bro. That man is in a podcast right now. You know he got ops. And you walk in like that while his daughter's there. Whoa. Bro. Matter of fact. I ain't even trying to put this out there like that. So I will be blurring out faces um, and all that. So, But shout out Wack 100. That shit, that shit was kind of funny, though. But he was about to whoop your ass, boy. That clip is crazy. I was having no, a hard time keeping a straight face. No, uh, well, Chris, but they call me White Dolomite, though. You know the real White, yeah. White Dolomite. Oh, I heard the name. Listen, I swear, I don't be keeping up. Look, I thought you was going to know, but I'm glad you didn't. Hey, no. No, at that time. You told her to get him and leave it out real You like that? I couldn't tell you before, and you would have been able to play it. I wanted to get the real name. Yo, Sport, what a homie from Cedar. Why 10 years ago would have been told? Right away, huh? Right away. I'm thinking I'm going to. That man had the balls to do that, man. That's whack 100, bro. You stepping on their domain, too. You crazy as hell, bro. Evidence. They're going to let's finish this off with about Diddy real quick. Can. They're going to follow every single trail, every single lead that they can before they go to an indictment. There can be continuances. There can be other things that can Nuances. delay the case. But once you file that charging document, the clock starts ticking. So that you know, when I was a prosecutor, I always advised my detectives, anybody that I was training, that you get, all bruh. Close your eyes and the lady sounds like Siri, right? I don't know. All the evidence you can up front and then you file charges. So when is it possible that we would actually see him being arrested On an adult. or any of these indictments? Could it be months down the line? I feel that it would be months down the line. I, I would not be surprised if it was before the end of this year. Because um, again, this is going to be a massive investigation involving at least oh, is three it? states, much as is we it? saw in the, uh, in the Epstein case where he was bringing underage girls to uh, one of his islands in the Caribbean. And there have been some allegations of things happening. So to all, all the SPM fans, like, let me say this. 
if I were to say, oh, free P. Diddy when he's locked up, how how, how would that make me look? How what kind of person, what kind of person would that tell you I am? If I'm like, oh, free P. Diddy, free P. Diddy, he didn't do nothing wrong. This is all lies. How would you feel then? No, I really want to know. How would y'all feel? Free P. Diddy. No, he didn't do it. These, these people, we can't do that to them. Just because they're celebrities doesn't mean that they can get away with all this stuff. And then this has been happening for years. My, years. This is years in the making. They didn't just do this because of last week or, or last year because of what Cassie said. No, this is way longer than that. If you think that that they're coming after him right now because of Cassie, you're wrong. This has been in the works for years. On planes, things happening on trips. So there may be additional locations that may need to be searched and additional witnesses that may need, need to be spoken to in order to get a full picture for what charges would be appropriate and what would be the best pass forward with this case. And it's possible Diddy serves a lengthy prison sentence for all this if he were to be convicted in criminal court. If this does happen, that P. Diddy is indicted. People are already talking about how quiet it is already. There's so much stuff that we probably don't even know that's unraveling right now that's like happening right now where we don't know that is literally going to get him off the hook. There can be, we, you know, we don't know the whole story. You don't know. I don't know why I say that. You don't know. But shout out to everybody in the world that have been hurt. You got a voice. Speak out. Speak up. Don't hold that in. Let it out. You're not the only one. It's I am Dex. If you don't know, you do now. Subscribe. I think we're good. Y'all go and subscribe to Long Crime. Um, shout, again, shout out to WAC 100. Uh, do not free SPM. Um, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all for making this possible. And let me know what you want me to review next. And this has been brought to you by StreamYard. StreamYard. Powered by StreamYard. You know how we do it. StreamYard, baby. Film your next podcast. They're amazing. The tools are easy to use. You can, they're endless with just a free trial. Pay for what, you know, if you want a little bit more advanced and high tech gear, huh? But it does do the trick. And let them prove it to you. To you. That's little Dex. That's little Dex. And I even, even littler Dex. Pause. I have another littler decks than that one.